So again, click on the save button, make sure to always save, and get started on the body. I'm just going to change the thickness now again to 25. And now I think we could do this fairly quickly. Oops, gotta change this back to red. Make sure you do have the magnet tool here enabled, it does help. So we'll save the belly button for last once the symmetry is done, but we'll go ahead and proceed with the bottom part of him. So we're basically almost done. Uh, now we've got the shoe to work on and then we have most of his bodies complete.
So in order to finish the symmetry, um, we have to select the whole character. Once again, hit Q or the Transform tool here. And we'll be moving him to that side. So we'll first we'll need to actually create a copy and paste of this to in order to move him. So we'll go ahead and select the character, hit Control C, and then right click and paste in place. Once that's done, move the origin to the center. I suggest you do have this magnet tool selected just so that it snaps in the center. You can also zoom in just to make sure that it did. Okay, there we go. Alright, so then go ahead and move that. Just as long as it's symmetrical. Alright, so that's done. You could also double check, you know, just um, by hiding the, the background reference layer. And just for our sake, we'll select this whole thing and change the color here to black. So select the whole thing and black. We're actually in the finalizing process. As you can see, there's a few gaps because of our symmetry so to fix that it's pretty easy you just need to drag these lines to that make sure that as uh, you do have the snap object tool selected so I'll complete these for the top to bottom Okay, and just to give this a bit more final detail, we re enable the bottom layer and maybe we'll give him some abs here. You, know, you could always fix the final. See, if it does this to you, it means that they're not properly connected. So you could always select these and, and hit the smooth button. That's a bit better, but not quite. Yeah, okay. So we'll give him the belly button here. Alright. And maybe we'll give him a few abs. Instead of drawing them again, we'll copy and paste. I think we're pretty much done. So hide this again. Zoom out. Now you can finally select the whole character and place him somewhere in the middle. And okay, so we might need the stage to be slightly bigger. You could always make the dimension here a bit greater. So let's do. Uh, Fourteen. Okay, so there you have it. Um, you could always add, you know, some final touches here. Maybe you would want to add a, a little tongue here. So 
so I'll just do this quickly. So as you can see, it is kind of awkward seeing these lines very thin and then these ones thick. So the last thing I suggest you do is um, zoom out completely, select the whole character and give it a uniform uh, thickness, let's say uh, 0 0.4. Okay, and there you have it finally. The whole character done and perfectly symmetrical. So you pretty much have the front view of it. Um, the last thing we need to do to complete our drawing is create the side view, which we'll do by importing the, um, the side uh, layout of the character and doing the same thing again. And then I'll show you how to add color to the character. So I'll see you soon.